Okay, happy Earth Day. Um, thank you for joining me for a 60 minute yoga class. We're gonna start with three rounds of sun salutations to warm up our body. And then we will hop into 26 and two yoga, 26 postures and two breathing exercises. Yoga can be challenging at times and that's okay, um, but we're never going to a point of pain, a point where we could cause harm to ourselves or others. So just keep that in mind as you practice. If something does not feel right for you today, you are welcome to modify it, do something else or skip it entirely. Here, come towards the top of your mat for your sun salutes with your feet close together. I'm going to stand back a bit and show you in periphery. Arms down by your side, standing up nice and tall. Bring your hands together at heart center. And we'll begin with three rounds of Surya Namaskar A to get our blood flowing. As you inhale, lift your arms up overhead, look up as if you were saluting or greeting the sun. Exhale, bend your knees, fold, arms with ears, hands to floor, relax your head. Inhale, lengthen into a halfway lift, back flat. Hips over heels, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, put your hands on the floor and step back into a high plank or tabletop position. On your next exhale, hug your elbows in and slowly lower down. Inhale, come up into a back bend. You can do cobra with elbows bent and thighs on the floor or up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog, can bend one knee, straighten the other, and then press your heels to the floor, hips to the ceiling, drop your head, look for your thighs behind you. If down dog is not speaking to you, come down onto your knees, take a child's pose instead. Sink your hips down as you stretch your arms forward. On your next inhale, hands to the floor, look forward, step forward, lengthen back into your halfway lift. Slowly exhale, bend your knees, fold, relax your head. Inhale, root to rise, lift up, biceps with ears, hands together. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Two more, inhale, lift your arms, look up. Exhale, fold, flat back, arms with ears, hands to floor, drop your head. Inhale, look forward, lengthen into a halfway lift. Exhale, keep looking forward, hands to floor, step back into your high plank or table. Let's hold the plank for a moment. If that lowering down motion does not work for you, skip it, go straight from your plank or tabletop directly into your child's pose or down dog. Otherwise, take a vinyasa, lower yourself down. Inhale, come up into your back bend. If you're doing up dog, make sure your thighs are off the floor. Exhale, lift your hips up for down dog or child's pose. If you're doing down dog, spread your fingers wide. Root down through all 28 knuckles, especially the space between your index finger and thumb. Try to push the floor away from you. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, fold. Inhale, arms with your ears, lift up. Try to come up with a flat back. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Good, last one. Inhale, lift your arms, look up. Exhale, stomach in, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, hands to floor, step back into your high plank. Keep exhaling, slowly exhale as you lower down. Inhale, come up into your back bend. Exhale, lift your hips up for down dog or sink your hips down for child's pose. If your heels are not on the floor for down dog, try taking a wider stance. If you have tight hamstrings, you can micro bend your knees. Otherwise, think about pressing your legs back, lifting your tailbone up as you push the floor away from you. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen. Exhale, soften and fold. Inhale, reach your eyes, lift up. Exhale, arms down. Wonderful. So that's our little warm up. We will now hop into 26 and 2 yoga, starting with pranayana, deep breathing, good for your lungs and respiratory system. Bring your feet close together, toes, heels touching nicely. Interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, and glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. You made it to class. Concentrate, meditate, and begin, inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose, lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth. H-A, sound head back, arms forward, elbows touch. Good, inhale, elbows out and arms up. Slowly bring your chin down, look straight ahead. Lift your elbows all the way up, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back. 
Look way, way, way back for the wall behind you. Arms forward, elbows touch, pointing forward. Good, inhale, head down. Use your chin to push your knuckles down. Palms face the floor, forearms frame the face. Exhale, head up. Now use your knuckles to push your head back. Squeeze your palms together, wrists together, forearms, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, keep the weight in your heels. Lock your legs, suck your stomach in, lift your elbows up. Exhale, head up, keep the weight in your heels, thighs tight, glutes tight, abdomen in, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, this is the last breath in the first set. Make your spine a little longer, elbows a little higher, lungs a little fuller, suck your stomach in, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, take your time. Eyes open, hips forward, legs locked, stomach in, keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch. Good, change, arms down. Second set, feet together, interlock your 10 fingers, maybe switch the grip, bring your knuckles underneath your chin like glue. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, grow taller out of the base of your spine and begin, inhale, chin down and arms up, breathing in through the nose, lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, breathing out through the mouth, suck your stomach in, look back, arms forward, keep exhaling, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Every new inhale, you want to take in more air than the last breath to expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. The more you exhale here, the more fresh oxygen you can take in on your next breath. Push the air out. Inhale, head down. So make this the deepest breath so far. Breathing into the top of the lungs, middle of the lungs, bottom of the lungs, full lungs. Exhale, head up. In our day-to-day -day life, we don't really use the full lung capacity but the lungs need to be worked out like any other part of the body. Inhale, head down, slowly bring your chin down. Think about expanding your ribs as you expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. We're working on neck flexibility at the beginning of class. Just the head relaxes back, no backward bending, keep the rest of your spine long. Inhale, head down, this is the last breath, second set, deepest breath of your life when your lungs are totally full. Surprise yourself, take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up. Take your time. Let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries, any cares, let them go. Be here now. Elbows touch. Good. Change. Arms down. We'll continue with Ardha Chandrasana with Padastasana, Half Moon with Hands to Feet Pose. Feet together. Inhale, arms overhead. Palms together. Interlock your fingers. Release your index fingers. Cross your thumbs. Nice tight grip. Stretch up and bend right and left, right and left. Every time you pass through the middle, reach up a little taller. Just noticing how your body feels today. Good. And then come to stop in the middle. Bring the weight into your heels. Squeeze your thighs, your back. Push your hips a little forward. Squeeze your palms together. Upper body back. Touch your biceps to your ears. Inhale, breathing, stretch up out of your waist. Try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, absolutely straight line. Slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows, without bending your knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Bring the weight back into your heels, press your hips a little forward, lean your upper body back, touch your biceps to your ears, especially your right arm. Push your left hip a little forward, get your two hips in line. Now bring your right shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming, come down, push, 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 change, and heel to come up, hips forward, arms back, stretch up, and slowly bend to the left as you press your hips to the right. Keep your head in line with the rest of your spine, so you're not dropping your head down, but you're also not leaning it all the way back, right? From the side, you could imagine you could practice this posture in a very narrow hallway or between two panes of glass. So it's like you're leaning against a wall behind you and pressing your body against a wall in front of you at the same time. Weight in the heels, left rib cage a little forward, right hip a little forward, biceps with ears come down, push, 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 change, inhale to come up. First back bend, take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open, relax your head back as far as it goes, maybe give your head a gentle shake, look for the floor behind you, squeeze your butt, lift your chest, and immediately bring your arms back with your ears, try to touch the wall behind you. So full spine back bending from coccyx to the neck, lower back, middle back, upper back, bend your total spine backward bending. Keep the weight in your heels, inhale, breathing, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward and bring your arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, good, change. Inhale to come up, stretch up, lengthen. 
Exhale, bend your knees, go down, hands to floor, drop your head, go for a walk, move your hips, shake your head. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding. At the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite warmed up yet. Move your hips to get your lower back nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. Hadasasana, hands to feet pose, bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your calves, your Achilles, or your heels from underneath. Step on all 10 fingers. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine of the floor. Pulling is the object of stretching. Keep your stomach on thighs, chest on knees. Let your head hang heavy eventually, face to the shins, below the knees. Keep pulling, keep stretching, roll forward, lift your hips up, stretch your spine down. Good, change, come up, knees can bend. Try to come up with a flat back, straight spine. Good, arms down, and you stand a little taller. Second set, feet together, inhale, arms overhead. Switch the grip, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, hips forward, arms back, stretch up, and slowly drop to the right as you press your hips to the left. Squeeze your glutes, contract your quadricep muscles, breathe in and out through your nose. Engage your abdominal wall, lift your chin, lift your chest, drop your shoulders and touch your biceps to your ears. Notice if the wrists are bending and the hands are coming apart, squeeze your palms together. Inhale, lengthen the arms, exhale, come down, push, 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 change. Inhale to come up, hips forward, arms back, stretch up, and slowly drop to the left as you press your hips to the right. Keep the weight in your heels, hips a little forward, upper body back, arms with your ears, especially activate the left arm and left leg. Push your right hip a little forward, get your two hips in line. Now bring your left shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower, petal blooming, come down, push, and push, and push. Change. Inhale to come up, second heart opener, Deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open, drop your head back, and then once you take that initial breath, you just kind of skim off the top, little sips of air through the nose, squeeze your tush, lift your chest and arms, and bring your arms back. Again, notice if the hands are coming apart, wrists are bending, squeeze your palms together, like you're very aware that your hands are touching and your wrists are straight. Push your arms back, push your heels down, push your hips forward, and bring your arms back. Look back, fall back, way back, go back. More back, good, change, inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, squeeze arms to ears as you go down. Hands to floor, drop your head, go for another walk, move your hips, shake your head. And here we go, Padastasana, bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your legs or your heels from underneath. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes and lift your hips up. Press the big toes down, spiral the inner thighs back. Keep pulling, keep stretching. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, push your knees back, try to lock your legs. Good. Change. Come up. Squeeze the arms into the ears as you lift up. Very nice. Arms down. And you stand a little taller. Awkward Ukatasana. Step your right foot to the right about six inches. Hip width distance. Insides of your feet perfectly parallel like 11s. Arms up parallel to the floor. Tricep muscles tight. All five fingers together. Abdomen in. Bend your knees. Sit back and down into a chair. Feet flat position. Spine straight to begin with 100% of your body weight in your heels. Sit down halfway only, hips into a chair, suck your stomach in and lean your upper body back, depression to abdominal wall, contraction to abdominal muscles, lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back, change, inhale to come up, keep your arms there, press your hips a little forward, spread your toes wide, now come up maximum on your tippy tippy toes like a ballerina, keep your arms active, stretch up, bend your knees, sit down. Maximum concentration focus, don't even blink your eyes, Heels a little higher, knees a little higher, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, inhale to come up. Last part, still breathing. Squeeze your knees together, keep your fingertips active, and slowly sit down. Triceps tight, spine straight from the side. Take your time, stop whenever you want, or stop when there's a half inch gap between your hips and your heels. So try to stay a little lifted, lower abdomen engaged, shoulders soft. Change, slowly come up, triceps tight, Knees together, good, heels down, right foot back, arms down, shoulders down, take a breath. Second set, step your right foot to the right hip with distance, showing you at an angle, insides of your feet parallel, arms up parallel to the floor, triceps tight, abdomen in, bend your knees, sit back and down. So in this one, you can stick your butt out and fold forward to get your thighs parallel to the floor. Keep the weight in your heels, see if you can pick your toes off the floor. Now lean back, lift your chin up, Chest up, bring your knees back, hips back, change, inhale to come up. 
press your hips forward, lean back. Now lift your heels all the way up, maybe a little higher in the second set. Lift your heels higher, stretch up, stomach in, sit down. Try to eliminate any curvature in your lower back. So you're tucking your tailbone under, heels a little higher, stomach in, knees a little higher, chest up, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, inhale to come up. Last part, still breathing, squeeze your knees together. Let your heels come a little off the floor and slowly sit down. Imagine you're sliding your back down a wet marble wall. Stop when there's still a gap between your hips and heels. Squeeze your knees together and forward. Lift your chest, soften your jaw, and change. Slowly come up. Whew, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Eagle pose, Garasana. We're going to do the right side first. Inhale your arms over your head. Exhale, swing your right arm under your left arm. You can have palms together. You can interlock fingers, grab a thumb, or grab your shoulders. Just make sure right elbow is under left elbow. Pull your elbows down. Bend your knees, sit back and down, hips into a chair. Stay down there and bring your right leg over your left leg. Right leg over left, cross twist, and eventually wrap your right foot behind your left calf muscle. See all five toes visible. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left, twist like ropes, sit back and down, lean your upper body back at the end. Good, change. Feet together, arms over your head. Let's do the left side. Bring your left arm under your right arm, left under right, palms together, thumbs towards your face, pinkies towards the wall in front of you. Pull elbows down, bend your knees, sit back and down. Try to keep your hips down there and bring your left leg over your right leg, left over right, cross twist, eventually wrap your foot. Make sure you're still breathing in and out through your nose. On this side, bring your knees a little to the left and upper body to the right. Sit a little lower, breathe a little slower, stomach in, arch your upper body back at the end. Good, change, feet together, arms over your head, second set. Swing right arm under left arm, palms together, pinkies towards the wall in front of you. Pull elbows down, sit back and down, Stay down there and bring right leg over left leg, right over left, cross twist as you breathe slowly in and out through your nose. Push your left hip a little forward, right shoulder a little forward, twist your limbs, we're opening, decompressing all the major joints in the body, deltoid scapula, elbows, wrists, hips, knees, and ankles, sit down and lean back. Good, change, feet together, arms over your head, last one, left arm, zoom, under right arm, Pull elbows down, one day fingers below the nose, sit down, lean back and bring your left leg over your right leg. And as a reminder, this side might feel different from the other side and that's okay. We're not necessarily going for symmetry. We're just going for like realization, right? Self-realization, self-actualization. So as long as you're realizing mm, this side feels different and as long as you're loving yourself through that process, um, you're doing great. Sit down low and lean your upper body back. Good, change feet together, arms over your head, arms down, party time. You can grab a sip of water if you want. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Come to the middle of your mat, first standing, head to knee, Dande Amana, Janu Shrasana. Shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, and lift your right leg up. You can point your toes, flex your toes, keep your toes flexed back, abdomen in. Option to stay here, or as you're ready, round down and eventually pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked, webbing to webbing grip. Throughout the posture, standing legs should be solid, concrete, one piece, lamp post, unbroken. You have no knee. If you've been coming for a while, all of you have, and you know your left leg is locked, no bend, no wobble. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently, lift your right leg up. Stretch it forward until your right leg is exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower, standing leg locked. If both legs lock, start to bend your elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles one day, elbows go below the calf muscles. Lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Change, slowly reverse out. Shift your weight to your right leg, lock your right leg and lift your left leg up. You can point your toes, flex your toes, keep your toes flexed back, abdomen in when you're ready, ram down and eventually pick up your left foot. All 10 fingers interlaced, webbing to webbing grip. Contract your inner thigh outer thigh, lift your kneecap, squeeze your glute, and when you're ready, lift your left leg up. So you want to use the muscles in your standing leg to keep the bones and joints in place. 
Press your heel forward, flex your toes back. If both legs lock, you feel tremendous stretching feeling on the backs of both legs, maybe even a cramp on your thighs, then only bend elbows down. Touch your elbows to calf muscles. One day, elbows go below the calf muscles. Hold here. Take an inhale through your nose and an even slower exhale through your nose. Good. Change. Slowly reverse out. You can put your hands on your back and do a little back bend or a knee bend. Okay. Second set. Shift your weight to your left leg. Lock your left leg. Lift your right leg up. Flex your toes back. Abdomen in. Round down and pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked. Concentrate, meditate, stomach in. Don't forget to have fun. Inhale, breathing, lift your right leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. Keep flexing your toes back. If elbows go below calf muscles, move your hips and heel forward. Tuck your chin to your chest and put your exactly forehead on your knee. Hold here and breathe. And when you're ready, take your time as you reverse out. <laughs> Good. Last one, shift your weight to your right leg. Walk your right leg, lift your left leg up, flex your toes back, round down, and eventually pick up your foot. Lift your right kneecap, evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot without grabbing the floor with your toes. And when you're ready, lift your left leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Keep moving your heel forward, hips to the ribs, chin to chest, touch forehead to knee, and breathe. And when you're ready, slowly come up, take your time. Very nice. Standing, go pulling pose, Dandayamana, Dhanurasana, feet together, bring your right hand up. Elbow touches the body, palm faces the ceiling. Bring your hand out to the right. Give yourself a high five for practicing yoga today. Yes, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle bone. Thumb with your index finger. Bring your left arm up, right hip forward, knees together. Lock your left leg, point your right toes. Take a breath, lift your chin, stretch up, and slowly charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up. Take your time. Slowly bring the body down and the leg up. See the foot come directly over the top of your head from the side, two heels in line. Kick back and up. In other words, two shoulders in line. Touch your chin to your shoulder. Shoulder blade scapula stretching away from the body. Kicking and stretching should be equal, simultaneous. 50-50, the harder you kick, you can balance forever. Body down more, leg up more. Kick, kick, kick. Good change, kick yourself up. Okay, let's do the other side. Bring your left hand up, out to the left. So the shoulders rotating out, reach back, pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle bone, right arm up, left hip forward, thighs together. Lift your right kneecap, point your left toes, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly kick into your hand. Simultaneously charge your body forward. You're kicking in two directions. You're kicking back and you're kicking up. So notice if you're only kicking back, try to kick up to the ceiling as well. You're using your left hamstring, left glute, left calf muscle to kick as hard as you can. Create maximum space between your right fingertips and your left toes. So really slide the shoulders apart as you slowly come down parallel to the floor. Keep the chin and chest lifted, body down more, leg up more, kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly. Kick yourself up. Second set, bring your right hand up, out to the right, reach back, pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle, left arm up, knees together. Lock your left leg, point your right toes, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly swipe your inner thighs together. Simultaneously swipe your left arm along the profile of your face. Charge your body forward, kick back, kick up, keep breathing. Make sure you're getting a back bend. Keep the chin and chest lifted. You're gonna slide your left shoulder so far forward that eventually the shoulder touches the chin, not the other way around. Body down to parallel, big toe to the ceiling. Kick, kick, kick. Good, change, kick yourself up. The last one, bring your left hand up, out to the left, reach back, pick up the inside of your left foot, right arm up, left hip forward, thighs together. Lift your right kneecap, point your left toes, lift your chin, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, breathe. 30 seconds.
Halfway there. Kick, kick, kick. Good, change, kick yourself up. Beautiful, come to the back of your mat, Tula Dandasana, balancing stick. Feet together, inhale, arms overhead, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, lean back, step your right foot forward, shift your weight to your right foot, stretch up, point your left toes, and tilt like a slow moving seesaw. One day, arms, body, head, legs, everything parallel to the floor. From the side, body makes a T like Tom, not a broken umbrella. Stretch, 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 change. Left foot down, right foot back, lean back, step your left foot forward, shift your weight to your left foot, stretch up, point your right toes and tilt. Notice when the right hip starts to lift up. Drop your right hip down, spiral your inner right thigh up, bring your right foot to the right, body down, leg up, stretch, change. Right foot down, left foot back, arms down, take a breath. Second set, arms overhead, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, lean back. Step your right foot forward, shift your weight to your right foot, stretch up and tilt. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Every muscle in your body contracting, except your face, relax your face, seal your lips, body down, leg up, peer forward through your eyebrows, stretch, change, left foot down, whew, right foot back, last one, here we go. Step your left foot forward, stretch up, point your right toes and tilt. So you wanna use your limbs to lengthen your spine. Charge your body forward, stretch your big toe back, stretch, stretch, stomach in, eyes open, stretch, change, right foot down, left foot back, arms down. Enough of that, you're welcome to come to the top of your mat and face the long side of your mat for the next three postures. I will face you, standing, separate leg stretching, inhale, arms overhead, Paschimottanasana, exhale, step your right foot to the right, big step, four feet minimum, arms down, parallel to the floor. You can point your toes forward or turn your toes in. Lock your legs, lift your chest, and swan dive forward. Good. Lots of room to play in this posture. You can always try taking a bigger or smaller step. You can grab your heels, the outsides of your feet. You can also start with your hands on the floor in front of you. Everybody roll forward. Find your edge, lift your hips up, push your knees back, lock your legs, keep pulling, keep stretching, touch your head to the floor in between your feet. Good, change, slowly come up. Okay. Triangle Trikonasana, push your hips forward, lean your upper body back, turn your right foot out, take a bigger step, bend your right leg and lunge. Sit down, lean back, and move your arms at the same time. You want a diagonal line from your ankle to the crown of your head. If your right thigh is parallel to the floor, maybe elbow in front of the knee. If your right thigh is not parallel to the floor, maybe wrist in front of the knee. Just make sure that you're not all the way up or all the way down. Right, look up towards the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder, breathe through your nose, sink your hips down, push your knee back, turn, twist, open your chest, lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor, change, rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, two heels in line, inhale, bend your left leg and lunge, sit as low as you can, Lean back and move your arms at the same time. You've got it. Elbow in front of the knee. Hover your fingertips between your big and second toe. Don't touch the floor. Don't push any weight on the floor. Look up to the ceiling. Touch your chin to your shoulder. Try to get your right hip in line with your left hip. So you're going to sink your right hip down. Push your left knee back. Now turn, twist, open through the chest. Lock your right leg. Keep your right foot flat on the floor. Change. Rotate your arms. Straighten your left leg. Left toes in. Arms up. Palms together, cross your thumbs, pivot on your heels to one side of the room, standing, separate leg head to knee. Turn your back toes in, press your left hip forward, Johnny Sharasana. Tuck your chin to your chest, and you go down. Chin to chest, stomach in. Round your spine, stomach in. Touch your forehead and knee together. You can take a bigger step. You can bend your front leg. You can push the floor away from you. Touch your forehead and knee together. However, if rounding your spine this much does not feel good to your back, ease up a little bit. You can go down with more of a flat back. 
eventually forehead and knee touch, but you're never forcing your body. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together, change, slowly uncurl. So your head comes up last. Good, pivot on your heels to the other side of the room, uncross your heels, turn your back toes in, make sure you still have at least a yardstick between your feet, big step. Push your right hip forward, left rib cage back, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Sometimes when we realize we can't do a motion in yoga, it's like this decade long journey to heal a shoulder. But sometimes when we realize we can't do something in yoga, it's as simple as taking a bigger step. So make sure you try the easy thing first before you go into a tailspin, right? If you can't touch your forehead and knee together, try taking a bigger step. You can always bend your front leg, really tuck chin to chest, eventually forehead and knee touch, but you're never forcing. Push forehead into knee, lock both legs, hands together, change, slowly uncurl, right hip forward, right shoulder forward, full stop at the top. Good, pivot on your heels, step your right foot back, arms down. It's like if a doctor recommends surgery, you want to exhaust all other options before that, right? Same thing with yoga. If you're like, I can't touch my forehead to my knee, try taking a bigger step before you're like, Oh my God, my back, right? Okay, the <laughs> second set stretching. Try taking a bigger step in this one too. Arms overhead, step your right foot to the right, big step, four feet minimum, arms down parallel to the floor. Lift your kneecaps, lift your chest, swan dive forward. Stick your butt up all the way down. Grab your heels, roll forward, touch your head to the floor. Now, all of these postures um, are a little dependent on your body proportions, but it's most obvious in this one, right? If you have a long torso and short legs, might be kind of easy to touch your head to the floor. Conversely, if you have long legs and a short torso, your head might never touch the floor. And that's okay. It's all about what you learn on the way down. Roll forward, lift your hips up, keep pulling, keep stretching, lengthen your spine. Good, change, come on up, take your time. Next is triangle or hip opener, chest opener, spine twist. Turn your right foot out. Most folks want to take a bigger step. Bend your right leg and lunge. Notice if your knee is going to the left of your ankle, you want your knee directly over your ankle. Sit down, lean back, and move your arms at the same time. Eventually, you're gonna sink your left hip down, elbow in front of the knee, hover your fingertips just between your big and second toe. Look up, stretch up, reach your left arm up, stretch your right arm down, now bring right rib cage forward, left rib cage back, turn twist, lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor, change, rotate your arms, push the right heel on the floor, right toes in, left toes out, two heels in line, inhale, bend your left leg, sit down, lean back, and move your arms, elbow in front of the knee, look up towards the ceiling, arms should be at 6 and 12 o'clock. For my flexi folks, sometimes we try to move the arm back, rather than opening the chest, right? So keep your arms at six and 12 o'clock and just rotate through your chest, through your spine, left rib cage forward, right rib cage back, lock your right leg, keep your right foot flat on the floor, change. Rotate your arms, straighten your left leg, left toes in, arms up, palms together, pivot on your heels, turn your back toes in, press your left hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times, tuck your chin to your chest, and go down. You want to feel each part of your back moving. And again, lots of room to play. You can play around with your step. You can play around with bending your front leg. Just make sure your back leg stays locked and engaged the whole time. So you're always lifting the left kneecap up as you press the left heel down. Chin to chest, throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. This is a compression posture, compression to the abdominal wall. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs. Bring your hands together first. And then change, slowly come up as if you're dragging your forehead up your thigh, your chest, head up, last. Good, pivot on your heels, I'm gonna face you. Make sure your heels are in line, but not crisscross. Turn your back toes in, press your right hip forward, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Balance challenge, keep your hands together the whole time. Arms locked, wrists straight, palms together, fingers beyond the big and second toe, Touch chin to chest, touch forehead to knee, pull your abdomen in, press your hips forward, ground your spine, compress your front. Push forehead into knee, lock both legs, hands together, change. Slowly uncurl, head up last, good. Pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. 
come to the middle of your mat for tree pose and then toe stand. Lock your left leg and lift your right leg up. You can put your foot on your shin, your knee, your thigh, touch your heel to your costume and let your right knee drop. You can bring one or both hands together. Option to stay here or flow to toe stand. Start to fold forward with a straight leg, flat back. Hinge at your hips, hands to floor, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee, bring your knees through your arms as you sit down. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips. Make sure you're having fun. Left hand up to the center of your chest. Right hand up, palms together, spine straight, come a half inch off your heel. Good. When you're ready, hands to floor, you can come up on two feet or push your hands into the floor as you lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg and then press your hips forward as you hinge at your hips coming up with a flat back. Good, change right leg down, lock your right leg and lift your left leg up. Eventually heel to groin, let your left knee drop, never force your body. Left hand up and if you can balance without your foot falling, right hand up. Press your hips a little forward, lift your chest up, nice long spine, proud chest. Option to stay here or flow to toe stand, fold forward. Hands to floor, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee, bring your knees through your arms, walk your hands back to either sides of your hips. Whether you're in tree or toe, press your left hip forward, point your left toes, left knee down. Left hand and right hand, elbows down, spine straight, toe stand, come a half inch off your heel. Good, when you're ready, hands to floor, you can come up on two feet or lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg and then press your hips forward to reverse out. Very nice, change left leg down, honor yourself, give yourself high five, fist bump, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat, I'm gonna adjust our camera angle a little bit. We're on the floor for the rest of class. Okay, very nice. Okay. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat, heels together, toes fall open, arms down, palms face the ceiling, Eyes open, mouth closed, breathing normal. Inhale to your nose and exhale to your nose. So today is Earth Day, which is wonderful. I think um, there's, I don't know, there's like an association, right, with like yoga and like being hippies and like being good stewards of the earth, right? But I, I don't know if I always see it that way, like for example, hot yoga is probably like horrible for the environment, but I love it, right? Uh, <laughs> or, you know, when I look at yoga, which is this multi-billion dollar industry, a lot of that is going into like, not the yoga classes themselves, but like clothing and like yoga mats and stuff like that. And like, I love a cute yoga outfit um, <laughs> and I love a nice yoga mat, but I'm also reminded like the mat that I'm on, I've had for, for a long time. And I think it's nice to find that balance where, um, you know, we're wearing things and practicing on things that make us happy and that make us, you know, excited to be in our yoga class. Um, but as a reminder, we do want to find like sustainable, you know what I mean? Like try to wear your outfit several times, like take care of it so you don't have to replace it as often. Same thing with your yoga mat, take care of it so you don't have to replace it as often, uh, stuff like that. And then, you know, we can both be stewards of the earth and like stewards of our body, our mind body, our yoga. I'm really proud of ourselves. Okay, Vana Muttasana, bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right shin, nice tight, white knuckle grip, pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder, completely avoid your rib cage, keep your head on the floor, look down the center line of your body, pull down extra hard, change right leg down, bend your left leg up, pull your knee out to the left, down towards your shoulder, completely avoid your rib cage, keep your head on the floor, look down the center line of your body and breathe. Change left leg down, both legs lift up, grab your elbows, each other, give yourself a big hug for coming to class. Squeeze your knees together and down, keep your head on the floor, look down the center line of your body and hold still. Eventually, or in the future, when the bone joint skeletal system has improved, the whole spine from coccyx to the neck will be flat on the floor. Change, arms down and eyes open. Second set, bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right shin, pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder, avoid your rib cage. Push the pads of your fingers into the backs of your hands, look down the center line of your body, so even your eyeballs get a nice stretch. Change, right leg down, left leg up, pull your knee out and down. One day knee tucks under the armpit, doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. For today, maybe move your left foot a little to the left, 
So that ankle, hip, knee, and shoulder all run parallel. Change, left leg down, both legs up, grab your elbows each other, give yourself another big hug, squeeze your knees together and down, keep your head on the floor. Try pressing your shins into your forearms a little bit so the hips roll down, belly button heavy like lead, middle spine down, tuck your chest up, tuck your chin in a little bit, even the shoulders and neck start to stretch and realign. Change, arms down and eyes open. Take a breath. Good, okay. Next, we do a straight leg sit up. If you have any concerns about your back, you can skip the sit up by rolling off to the side. I do it all the time. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Ooh, I'm fine. Okay, turn, lie on your stomach. You ever take class and you're like, ooh, I need this today. Lie on your stomach for the spine strengthening series, starting with Cobra. Bhujangasana, chin on the floor, place your hands flat on the floor, just below your shoulders so your elbows point up to the ceiling, zip up your legs, lock your legs, look up and lift, stretch your upper body off the floor, use your back strength, come up halfway only, elbows stay bent, hug your arms in, roll your shoulders down, stretch your elbows to your hips. Don't forget about your cobra scale, lock your legs, squeeze your back, push your feet down, hips down, hands down, look up, chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up. Good, change, slowly lower down, flip to your right, left ear on your mat, arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels follow them. I would be remiss to talk about Earth Day without talking about the difference between personal responsibility, right, like our own recycling, me using this yoga mat for five years versus a bigger issue which has to do with like larger infrastructures like major companies, right? So for me, yoga reminds me, right, that I am enough. I don't have to prove my worth through like the coolest outfit every time. So I'm reusing outfits. I'm reusing my yoga mat. Yoga reminds me of that. But yoga also gives me the energy to like write to my Congress people, right? <laughs> like do other things that are more, that go beyond just my personal responsibility as a steward of the earth, but instead allow me to like, you know, hold other people accountable and other corporations accountable for being stewards of the earth as well. Second set locust, no, second set cobra, chin forward, hands on the floor, feet together, lock your legs, look up and lift. Press your hands down, make sure hands are flat, all five fingers together, shoulders back and down, open through your heart space. What a lovely thing to think about, right? You're opening through your heart space, lock your legs, press your feet, hips and hands down, look up, chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up. Good, change, slowly lower down, flip to your left, right here on your mat, arms down, eyes open. I always think it's interesting with COVID, like we've used more takeout containers than ever before. We've used more one-time masks than ever before, right? There is more garbage and that is a problem. And yet, what do you hear over and over again? Nature is healing, right? Because it's not just about our personal responsibility. Of course, we need to like uh, go way down on our waste and our garbage and all that kind of consumption. But also like it turns out, right? When there's less cars on the road and less trucks on the road and stuff like that, that also does a lot. It's not just about, you know, reusing a yoga mat or recycling a water bottle. It's also about like larger systems in place. Locus Shalavasana, bring your chin forward, arms straight position, rotate your arms to face the floor, palms face the floor. Bring your arms underneath you as best you can, spread your fingers wide. Walk your right leg, point your right toes and lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle, half of 90, press your shoulders down, lock your right leg, lift your thigh up, change, right leg down, relax your right leg, walk your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. Keep your hip and forearm in contact so your hips are in line. This is good practice for balancing stick if you have trouble keeping your hips even there. Change, left leg down, third part, tuck your chin and mouth down. Maybe bring your arms a little closer. You're stretching out the tendons and ligaments in the arms and hands. Mouth down, squeeze your buttons, lock your legs, point your toes and lift both legs up, come up. Everybody come up, you can do it. Struggle a little harder, don't give up. So hard, knees feet together, lock your legs, squeeze your butt, point your toes, lift your thighs up. Good, change, slowly lower down. Bring your arms out, releasing the tourniquet effect. Look to the right and take a nice slow breath. Feel blood rushing from your heart, down through your shoulders, your forearms, elbows, all the way into the wrist and fingertips. Second set, bring your chin forward, arms straight, rotate your arms, palms face the floor. Bring your arms underneath you. One day pinky fingers touch. Spread your fingers wide, lock your right leg point your right toes and lift your right leg up. So hip and forearm, stay in contact, spiral your inner right thigh up. So right pinky toe down, right big toe up, stretch the leg back, 
lock your right leg, change right leg down, relax right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. One leg is practice for two legs. See how high you can lift your left leg and you're gonna hold this vision for yourself in the third part. Change, left leg down, tuck your chin in, mouth down. So the first millimeter is the hardest. Picture both feet lifting up. Mouth down, lock your legs, point your toes and both legs up. Even if your feet are barely lifting up, just picture them coming over the top of your head. Roll forward, shoulders down, triceps tight, lock your legs, lift your thighs up. Change, lower down, bring your arms out. We'll look to the left and take a breath. Corner Chalavasana, full locus, chin forward, arms out to the side, like airplane wings, feet together, toes and heels touch, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, point your toes, and lift everything up, arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor, like a 747 taking off, maybe we should rethink 747s, just your right bones on the floor, the rest of your bodies in the air, look up towards the ceiling, where your eyes go, body nose to follow, knees, feet together, stretch your big toes back, lock your legs, now lift your thighs up. Chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down, tucking your wings, look to your right. It's like one of my favorite things about Leonardo DiCaprio is he's like a huge environmentalist, but then he like flies a private jet around. And I'm like, what's up with that? These two things don't quite make sense together. Similarly in yoga, right? Sometimes it's like yoga is all about connecting to your breath. And yet in class, we're holding our breath, right? Or yoga is all about loving yourself. And yet in class, we're being really hard on ourselves. These things don't go together. So the same way that some of us have had a realization that like private planes and eco, you know, justice don't go together. Same thing with being hard on yourself on your yoga mat. If you notice negative self-talk creeping in, this is an opportunity to practice compassion with yourself. Second set, bring your chin forward, arms out to the side, feet together, toes, heels touch. Lock your legs, squeeze your butt, point your toes, look up and lift. Everything lifting off the floor. Stretch your arms apart, keep your feet together, toes and heels touch. Lock your legs, open through your chest, squeeze your buns, point your toes, now lift your thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down, tuck in your wings, look to the left. As humans, we are full of contradictions and I think that's really beautiful, but there's a difference between being full of contradictions um, and being full of like actions that um, oppose one another, right? I can be both like happy and sad at the same time. I can both be patient and determined at the same time, but that's different from like telling students that I believe in loving myself and then after class, I'm super hard on myself, right? Those actions are not in line, even though we're full of contradictions. Uh, Dhanurasana floor boat, chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet, from the outside, two inches below the toes, thumbs with your index fingers, point your toes, squeeze your butt, look up towards the ceiling and start to kick into your hands. Continuously keep kicking without stopping, without intermission. Roll forward once, freeze between your ribs and hips, hold still. Do little sips of air in and out through your nose. Bring your knees in, feet out, wrist straight, look up to the ceiling, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, slowly lower down. Look to your right, left ear on your mat, take a breath. Second step, bring your chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, two inches below the toes, point your toes, squeeze your touch, look up and kick into your hands. Try to touch your big toes to the ceiling. Notice if your knees are way wider than your hips, that's what I'm working on, bring the knees in, feet out, wrist straight, point your toes, keep kicking, keep breathing, kick, 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 kick. Good, change slowly with control, lower down, look to your left, right here on your mat, take a breath. Bring your chin forward, put your hands on the floor, push up, come to the top of your mat for fixed firm Supta Vajrasana. Show you from the side, start in tabletop, open your knees and feet. From here, start to sink your hips down and walk your hands back. You can keep your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time. One day sitting between your heels, doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. If you can sit between your heels and you're not in pain, put your hands on your feet, Right elbow down, stopping anywhere you feel a point of pain. Left elbow down, drop your head back, head to floor. Tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows, each other, and hold. So I think it's important to, you know, discern the difference between we are all full of contradictions. Sometimes, you know, we say one thing and we do something else, right? That is part of the human experience. But there's a difference between you yourself doing that and like listening or following someone who is telling you to do something that they themselves are not doing, right? Change, put your hands on your feet, push yourself up, head up last, turn around, savasana. 
So I think maybe that's the difference, right? We all, you know, had that moment where we want to do one thing, we have our values and we do something else. We mess up, we err, we're human, right? But there's a difference between like you being in touch with yourself versus somebody else or something else telling you what to do when like they themselves are not in line with their values. And that's, you know, like where I take issue with Bikram, right? I love this style of yoga. Um, I don't regret going to his teacher training, but like I have no interest in um, like calling him my guru or giving him money. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, come to the top of your mat, second set. Uh, if first set was rough, try opening your knees a little wider. If first set was a walk in the park, bring your knees together. As you're ready, you're gonna walk your hands back and sink your hips down. Put your palms on your soles, right elbow down, left elbow down, drop your head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows each other. If this is easy, slide your knees back together and think about lifting your chest a little higher like a natural human bridge. Good, change. Put your hands on your feet, push yourself up, very nice. Head up last, turn around, Savasana. Let everything stretch out onto the floor. Let the floor hold you up. Take a breath. If the sit-ups are bothering your back, skip them, roll off to the side. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, flex your feet, squeeze your seat, sit up. Good, come to the back of your mat. I'm gonna show you from the side, half tortoise, Ardha Karmasana. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels, arms over your head, palms together, cross your thumbs, stretch up and go down. You can always put one or both hands on the floor to help yourself in. Otherwise, forehead to floor, little fingers to floor, active arms. Reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, stretch and stretch and stretch. Feels good. Change, slowly come up, very nice. Arms down, turn around, Savasana. I can't talk about like, you know, being disingenuous and stuff like that on Earth Day without talking about carbon footprints. So as some of you may know, like the term carbon footprint, it was originally called an eco footprint. And that was like that term, like an ecological footprint was created by ecologists. Carbon footprint was actually a advertisement scheme by BP in the 70s and 80s that tried to put the idea of personal responsibility onto individuals rather than onto big oil companies. So keep that in mind, like we have the word carbon footprint in our lexicon and we use it often when talking about ourselves, but really it's meant to be used about like, you know, big companies like BP and stuff like that. So again, personal responsibility, important. Yoga helps me hold myself personal, personally responsible and yoga helps me Get, have the energy to hold other people, other corporations personally responsible as well. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. As someone at my teacher training said, yogis are really good at like deciphering BS, right? We have some sort of a like, this doesn't make sense. Knees feet together, hips on your heels, arms over your head, palms together, cross your thumbs, stretch up and go down, slowly go down, forehead to floor, little fingers to floor, Reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, re-energize, reorganize, revitalize, stretch. Change, slowly come up. Very nice, arms down, turn around, Savasana. I'm watching this TV show and um, Basically, they get scammed by a company, right? And one of the characters turns to her cousin and she goes, I'm not smart. She goes, I'm dumb. And I know that this is a scam. She's like, no, seriously, I don't know anything, but I know that something is wrong here. And I think about that a lot, like in my own life. I'm like, I'm not like, you know, brilliant, but like even I can decipher, like this doesn't quite make sense. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Okay, come to the top of your back. Camel Ustrasna. The show is Aquafina is Nora from Queens, and it's very funny. I highly recommend you watch it. Come to the top of your mat for Camel Ustrasna, our deepest back bend. Stand on your knees, six inches between your knees and feet. Put your hands on your lower back. Push your hips forward. Keep your eyes open. 
Look up, lift your nose, lift your chin. One day head drops back all the way. It doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. Option to stay here with your hands on your back or keep going back with your hands on your back and freeze in the middle. Option to stay here or when you're ready, right hand down, grab your right heel, left hand down, grab your left heel, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. Push your hips forward, lift your chest up, drop your head back, look for your toes behind you. Good, change, put your hands on your back, press yourself up, head up last. Turn around, Savasana. So even though I like have very consciously um, separated myself from Bikram, the guy, um, and like call this class 26 and two, not Bikram, I still believe like there's some, you know, like there's a lot of value to some of his teachings. And I think like that's true in general, right? I'm not a black and white person. I believe there's gray area. Uh, to me, one of the most important <laughs> and beautiful moments in this sequence is actually in camel pose because the way that he teaches it he goes, put your hands on your back, drop your head back, and then he goes, go back halfway and freeze in the middle. And then if you're ready, grab your heels. Uh, so many people just go back and grab the heels, but it's in the dialogue, it's in his teachings, freeze in the middle, right? And this is a checkpoint, because sometimes we think, well, I grab my heels every time, so I'm just going to do it today. And then we're like, whoop, that was too far and go up. It's intentionally built into the practice that there's a moment of freeze in the middle. Does this make sense to you? If it doesn't, stay here, right? If you're feeling good, keep going. But that is so important in yoga. And I think in life, so much time we're going just by momentum, inertia, freeze in the middle, right? If something does not make sense to you, stop, take a moment, then keep going. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. I think of that a lot of times when I'm having like conversations with my friends and I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then somebody says something and I'm like, stop, freeze in the middle. What, what just happened there? Come to the top of your mat, open your knees a little wider, eight to 10 inches between your knees, six inches between your feet. Put your hands on your back, push your hips forward, keep your eyes open, look up, one day head goes back. Option to stay here or go back halfway, freeze in the middle. You can stay here, or right hand down, grab your right heel, left hand down, grab your left heel. Push your hips forward, lift your chest up, Drop your head back, breathe. Change, put your hands on your back, press yourself up, feel so good, head up last, turn around, Savasana. Take a breath. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Let's keep going. Okay, come to the middle of your mat or rabbit, sasangasana. We're going to round our spine. Sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, make L's with your hands like little bunny ears. Grab your heels, run the outside, stretch up tall, tuck your chin to your chest, and slowly with control go down. Take your time, stomach in, forehead to knees, automatically top of head to floor, pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. Squeeze your heels together, press your hips forward, lift your shoulders up, suck your stomach in, round your spine. Good, change, hips down, slowly uncurl. Head up last, turn around, samasana. Take a breath. Sometimes when our back is tight, just touching like forehead to knees is enough, right? You can always keep your hips on your heels, uh, especially if it's like tugging or pulling on your back. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. So this yoga is designed so a little goes a long way. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels, grab your heels from the outside, stretch up tall, tuck your chin to your chest, and go down. Stomach in, forehead to knees, top of head to floor, option to stay here or to lift your hips up, eventually hips over the knees. Squeeze your heels together, press your hips forward, lift your shoulders up, suck your stomach in, round your back. Good, chain chips down, slowly uncurl, head up last, very nice, turn around, Savasana, almost to the end, we're going to do one set of head to knee, one set of stretching, and flow that straight into spine twist. Take a breath, be here now, and we'll finish together, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up, wonderful, come to 
into the middle of your mat, draw your Shirasana head to knee, right leg out, left leg in, two legs make an L, inhale, arms overhead, stretch up. Exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Touch your forehead and knee together. To touch your head and knee together, you can bend your right leg, no problem. One day leg straight, one day leg locked, elbows down, stomach in, left elbow down, left shoulder down, roll into the left. Good, change, arms up, left leg out, right leg all the way in, two legs make an L, stretch up tall, turn to your left, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. So again, you can start with a bent leg and slowly over time, you're gonna press your heel forward, flex your toes back, bend your elbows down, suck your stomach in, right sit bone down, right shoulder down, two shoulders in line. Change, arms up, both legs out in front of you, option to stay here or lay down, let your spine realign and sit up. Pashimottanasana, stretch in, showing you from the side, bend your knees, Hook onto your big toes with peace sign fingers, middle and index fingers, thumbs on top, scoot your butt back, right, left. In head to knee, the object was to touch forehead to knees. In stretching pose, the object is to stretch your spine. So you're going to think about hooking your ribs over your knees. Knees can stay bent if it helps you keep a flat back. If your legs are straight, stick your butt out, lock your legs, puff up your chest, and everybody pulled forward with a flat back, straight spine, shoulders back, chest forward, stomach to thighs, pull, chest to knee, stretch, one day toes and head touch. Good, change, stay seated for a spine twist. Bend your left leg on the floor, touch your right heel to left knee. You can also have your left leg long in front of you. Right arm behind you, left arm up and over. Grab your left knee with your left hand, hand, heel and knee touch. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over right, shoulder twist. You can keep your right hand behind you for balance or reach behind you. Grab your left thigh with your right hand for a half bind. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull your abdomen in, look over your right shoulder, twist and twist and twist. Good, change, unwind, swap out your legs, bend your right leg on the floor, touch your left heel to right knee, left arm behind you, right arm up and over, grab a right knee with right hand. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, pull abdomen in, look over left shoulder twist. You can keep your hand behind you or do the half bind, keep spine straight, chest up, rib cage open. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, look back, twist and twist and twist. Good, change, unwind, turn around, savasana. So yoga gives us all these tools for compassion towards ourselves, for personal responsibility and for energy to encourage others to also, you know, be their best selves. Um, and yoga also gives us this really powerful tool of practicing stopping inertia, right? Which is like, think of how many things in life would be different if we all practiced stop, freeze in the middle. Okay, now go, right? That's such a powerful thing that we do. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, come to the middle of your mat, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on your thighs, final breathing. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times, concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Lift your lips, swallow a couple times, sit up tall, shoulders down, spine straight. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good for you. Honor yourself. Give yourself a hug, high five, pat on the back, turn around, savasana. Um, another thing that Vikram says that I really like, he says, savasana is a gas station. Kind of ironic for today. Let's call it a Tesla recharge station. <laughs> no, Tesla's a problem too. Let's just call it what it is. Savasana, right, is a nice way for you to recharge. And this is so important whether we're dealing with Earth Day or you know, going into like some situation, like with a family member or a friend that might stress us out, anything where we need a little bit of extra energy, right? Savasana is that recharge station. So anytime you're just feeling like a little depleted, you know, maybe get onto your yoga mat, do a nice savasana, connect your body to the floor, connect your breath to your body, connect your mind to your body, maybe do a child's pose or something like that. But remember that you have this like really magical special space on your uh, on your yoga mat or in your you know yoga space, whatever that is for you that you can come back to. It doesn't have to be just for class. It can be anytime you're feeling a little untethered or a little depleted. Just take a few moments to be still and breathe with yourself. 
Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. And all is coming. 